Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Lisa and I was just getting ready to get started and I got a delivery and I thought I would open it with you. This is the first time I've ever ordered a plant. I ordered it from Etsy. It wasn't crazy expensive because I kind of wanted to see how this worked before I ordered anything too expensive. So I just got it. And if you can't tell, we're gonna do a try-on video today. Okay, so it was taped like that. Oh gosh, this poor little thing. No, I've got it mostly here, let me sit down. Okay, so I was thinking this is a girl. Look, it's an alocasia with a pink stem. Isn't she cute? And I thought about that. You guys said that all my plants were boys and they just are. I couldn't think of any plant up there that could be a girl except for maybe the um, little, what are they called now? One of the vining plants that had the velvety leaves. I want to say Mayan, but I know that's not what, Mykin, Mykins. Oh my goodness. So what they do, I guess, is put this here. Okay. I don't need to do, let me go do this over the sink. And then you saw how it was taped up. Look how cute she is. Oh, I cannot remember at this moment what type of alocasia this is. Here comes Chanel. But wow, who would have thought I could have had a little plant shipped to me just in the post office postage or whatever, USPS, and it get here so nicely. So that is nice to know, just so cute. I did my makeup today and I have been just loving my makeup and my face. So I did the same makeup that I've done, but I changed a few little things. And one thing I changed is I used this palette, which is the original Tartlet palette. And I even put a little bit of like that purpley tone in there. And I wanted to say, if you were placing a Sephora order and you don't have this palette, one of my all time favorites. The fact that it's still here and you can see where I've used it so much that I've worn the tart off of a lot of them. This is a beautiful palette. I absolutely love it. It's one of those, you can take that palette out and you know you're gonna love it. Okay, so let's start with some clothes, some try-ons. I told you I was serious. Please remember that a lot of what I tried on last week I think from the anthropology haul, the only thing I kept was that outfit, the jumpsuit and the pink puffy sleeves. I certainly kept the AYR or air white shirt and I think that's all I'm keeping. I actually still have the box here with the stuff to go back because I had some other things that had not gotten here yet. And I'm gonna try those on with you. And then I placed two orders, two or three, I think three orders with Zara. And one of them isn't here yet. It's supposed to be here today, but that's okay. We'll just show it next time. So we're gonna start off with what I have on and then build on that. Hey, Chanel, you wanna get up here? You wanna get up here, huh? <laughs> okay, um, let's see, let me put some shoes on. I'm just gonna put on some pretty basic little ankle boots and the pants I have on are just so good. And oh, almost got my skin wet. And I have my big mirror right here. That's why I've got you in this spot. John is playing golf, but he did in fact finish that wall that my credenza is going on. I don't think I've ever said that word credenza in my life and now I say it every day. But so he painted it this morning before he left and we put pads on the credenza. So after I do this video, I'm gonna scoot it back and start filling it up and styling it up. So hopefully this weekend, I'll do a video up there and show you that room so far. These are a pair of trousers from Zara. And I just see they don't have any pockets, which is actually a good thing because it won't add any bulk or anything right here. And I've just got on those boots and these are actually the mediums. The Zara and some of those brands, I never know. I always err too big because 
a lot of times your more inexpensive clothes run a little bit small. I probably could wear the small, but I actually kind of like the way these fit. The trousers, you know, are supposed to fit a little bit loose. And so I'm not gonna send them back. They were $49.90 worth every penny because they are just perfect with, I'll show you with all these shirts that I got, all the blouses that I'm getting. And so, and then it said, the tag said, uh, full length straight leg. Okay, so let's put on a blouse with it. I have steamed these, but I have not tried them on because do you guys, are you sick of this? Would you rather me try stuff on and show you what I know I like or do you like seeing it all? Leave me a comment down below because I thought about that this morning. I was like, you know, <laughs> that made, made me tired of seeing all these duds. Oh, and from the Oliver Hall, I took those things back yesterday. Sorry, my hair is all in. I was gonna wear my hair up, but it's hard to change clothes. You know, stuff over your head with your hair in a ponytail. Yesterday, I took back a lot of that stuff to Oliver. I did exchange the jeans that were too big for the smaller size. I took back the coat, because I just, oh, I loved it, but I didn't know if it was special. And I really just wanna keep special pieces. So I took back the coat, I took back the cashmere sweater because I just wasn't crazy about that color. And I took back the plain shirt. I took back the light blue. Basically all I kept were the two blouses, the dress, and the two pair of jeans. So that's, you know, that's just the way it goes. Next time I'll see if I can just get it on approval or something because I hated putting them through all that return mess. But, ooh, okay. This is one of those cinched blouses and I have on my Honey Love bodysuit today. Oh my goodness, I love this. Perfect, perfect. And you could, you could tuck it in, but I think I would leave it out. I think it kind of looks good out. What do you think? Let me go and come up close. And I feel certain this is a medium too, but I'll tell you when I take it off. Love it, love it, love it. Now you're just ready for any blazer or any coat you want to put on. I have a good feeling about this, this little Zara haul here. And I have a good feeling about the rest of my anthropology order too, actually. This one, uh, can you stand it? This is fabulous. Here, let me let you see all of it. This is a medium. I love it. I knew I would like this. And then let me go get a black blazer just to bring out here and show you with everything. Okay, this one is pretty. I tried to get a pretty plain one, but this is a Theory blazer that I bought years ago. Remember when I was going to Saks and Safu and Twee were helping me? I bought this at Saks, but yes. So, and you could pull out the collar, but I probably wouldn't. Love it. And, okay, so now let me show you some belts that I got. This one I love. I think it's fabulous. This one I'm like, eh. I don't even know if I'm gonna take it off of the paper. I don't know, okay, okay, I will. And I got these in the medium because, here, this is what I was thinking of. Put this over it, you know? Like different things like that. I want to do more of that. Cause it's just like this one simple thing. I can't, my hair is in the way, I can't snap it. Hold on. I still may have, I should have gotten a small, but love it. Oh, I keep forgetting no pockets. Okay, now let's try this one. Okay. So that one too. Sorry, all these dye on tags. I'll take them off. I just didn't want to take them off until we tried them on in case I wanted to send them back. Love it. 
oh, I need to do so much more of this. And I came across, I had bought like a little travel steamer and that's what I've been, you know, trying to use for months now. And when we moved, I came across my old steamer. It's called, it's been like recalled and it's so daggone good. I think it was like burning people, but it's called um, My Little Steamer. And that has been so nice because used to, I would, and this is probably a Virgo thing, I would not want to put a belt over a blazer because I would not want to put the wrinkles in it because I didn't have a good steamer. And so I would not do something like that. Or I would not like wear something, you know, because I didn't feel like steaming it because I didn't have a good steamer. So now that has really helped me. Okay, the last belt that I got, this one's uh, kind of questionable. It's, uh, it's very cheap and it was $35 but it grabbed my attention because I just thought it was so cool. It's like this mirror with the, and I know it doesn't go with this, but this one actually you can wear with jeans. And I thought it might look good under, you know what I mean? Like, oh, does it look good? Maybe not with this, but I thought it would just give some interest, you know, like under your jacket or something just trying to branch out a little bit. I'm so inspired by, I've been watching uh, Karen Britchick and, um, oh gosh, Monroe Steele. And there's a lot of people on YouTube that do, you know, capsule wardrobe or, you know, probably a little bit more conservative, but I have a hard time finding someone like, like I always watch Tamara Kalinick but even in the fro, she is, her and Lip, Lydia Millen are just a little too dressy. You know, they're, they're almost like so couture that it's just stuff I can't wear. And it's like, I can't even get access to it. So who do you guys watch that inspires you? Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> I haven't even shown you this. This is something new I just got too. I have never had I don't know if I've ever had a Dior bag at all. I looked at that saddle bag so many times and I'm, I still really like it, but I don't think I've ever had anything else. I, I'm not crazy about the Lady Dior bag, but I saw this months ago on one of my favorite Instagrammers channel. I think her name is Sabine. I'm not sure, but I'll put it down below. And I tried to get it then and I think it was sold out and it just came back in stock. And so I went for it. And what I liked about it is it's not real big. It's not as big as my Chanel tote. You can actually use this like day to day. And it was just so unique. I went ahead and got it. Gosh, this one I got a small. What was I thinking? Oh, I don't know, but it's another one of those like slinky blouses. I can wear this. Here, let's tuck this in. Yes. Oh, I love it. Now this, I would think of under a faux fur. I would just think like even a beigey faux fur like I had on the other day, I think it would really look good. It's kind of Studio 54 looking or why do I always forget that other movie that I love so much? American Hustle. That's what I think of. So, love it. Love it, love it. Yay, I knew today was going to be better. Okay, this one. Oh my goodness, you guys. You know how sometimes you get a satin shirt or dress and it's like this little papery, weird, you know, satin that won't hang right? This is a heavy, heavy satin. And green is such a color this year. And then look at those sleeves. So I'm gonna try, let's see what size I got. Medium. Huh, I don't know why I got a small in the other one, but oh, I love these sleeves. Love it, love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna tuck it in. Close, so you can see. It feels so good. It is so soft and such a nice satin. There is just such a difference. It is beautiful. What would I put this with? Like what kind of coat? Man, if you had like a faux fur vest, 
something like that would be good. Even under like something like a moto jacket or something like that, kind of mix it up a little bit. So let's try this turtleneck on. I just thought this was kind of cool and interesting and I think this comes in, but gosh, even this was $70. I don't know about anthropology, but it does feel nice. I will say that. If it looks really good, it'll be worth it. <gasps> and look how it has like a nice little edge. That's the thing is you can wear it out. I'm so glad I tried this on. Love it, love it. And sleeves are long enough. And let me show you up close so you can see the I actually really like this because it gives you the look of the turtleneck, but it's not coming up too far. It has all this like extra detail. Beautiful. So this is a winner for Anthropology, and just to keep in line with that, I'm gonna try on the other outfit from Anthropology, and then I'll be able to know what I am sending back. So I'll be right back. Okay. So this next thing from Anthropology is a two-piece set. The thing I noticed right off the bat is the pants aren't very long. They're kind of like I would have to wear, almost wear flats, which could be a good thing for some of you, but not for me because I don't wear flats that much. I don't like it. And then this just wraps and ties. Just the good thing about these bodysuits. Okay, what do we think? What do we think? Let's put some shoes on. Let me go get some flat like loafers or something. I just grabbed these, the regular Gucci loafers. The ones with the fur and them would be cute too. Okay, I'm really gonna depend on your opinion here. And it really helps when I watch these back too. I see things a totally different way than I do just looking in the mirror. But this is very different for me, but I think it's kind of cool. Huh. And the pants don't seem to be getting caught in, you know, some pants get caught in loafers. And I like how the sleeves are kind of long and they're flowy. And, okay, let me know what you think. This is some serious, like retro here, but I kind of like it. And so the pants, and these are mediums. This goes to show you. So these are medium pants, and look how, I mean, I had to hold this together to zip it up compared to the black pants. Maybe I need to order the black pants in small. Oh, okay. Got the big collar. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let me put my boots on. Hey, love it. Very different, sorry, tags the game on my butt. Very different for me, but I love it. This, I could have used this a little bit smaller, but nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have something over it. It would either be a faux fur, a moto jacket, even, ooh, let me go get something, hold on. This is also from Zara, it's a faux leather blazer. And I bought it either last year or year before, but they always have them. Yeah, perfect. And I, maybe on this one, pull out the collar. The collar's kind of big on this one. Oh, that tag is getting me. Okay, so, hmm. Oh, I don't know. I like it by itself so much. Hmm, I don't know. Tell me what you would wear with it. What kind of jacket? It is, <laughs> it is so retro, but I love it. Okay, let's go on to, let's see, I've got another pair of pants and then I've actually got a dress that I am thinking is gonna be too short for me, but I'm thinking I'll wear it with tights and boots or maybe even leggings. Here is the dress, it's beautiful. It's velvet, okay, probably leave it like that. And then it comes with, this belt, and it is probably, I don't know, with tights, I may be able to pull it off, but what do you think? I like it. Just think of it maybe with tights 
and boots. And, oh, it's so pretty. What do you think? My legs are getting so white, but I like it. I like it enough to keep it and try it. These are the last thing, the last pair of pants. These are a velvet with a, like a little pattern in there. And what I liked about these is that they're actual trousers. You know, most of the time when you see like little velvet pants like this, they are pull-on, which I, don't get me wrong, I love a pull-on pant. But I just thought these were cool because they're trousers. Let's put the boots back on just to get the full effect. What shirt would go the best? I think the green, wow, what a holiday outfit. Or the white. This is such a great, I always, I try to think of all of you. I try to think of everyone's needs as far as like going to work or an office, going to parties, going to, I'm hoping this year we'll get to go to holiday parties and more family functions. And I think, try to think of all ages because my viewer, my viewership is just all ages. I have, you know, plenty of 20 something, 30 something, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I try to think of everyone, but within my style. I'm shopping, I'm trying to shop for everyone, but with my taste. And I try to do that with style, function, and cost. I want everyone to be included. And a lot of people aren't gonna spend a lot of money. And then a lot of people will not even watch my lower end video. So I was thinking the other day with like with home decor and you know, like my style or my videos, I was thinking even if I said, okay, I'm only gonna wear what you guys tell me to wear, or I'm only going to decorate with what you guys tell me to get, I still couldn't please everybody. I couldn't. It's just, it's literally impossible. And when I came to that realization, I kind of let loose a little bit because I realized there's just no way I can do it. So, you know, with these fashion videos, I may miss you in style or in price point, but hang around because I'm telling you, I could shop at the Salvation Army and feel good about it. I, I could. Anyway, there's my little, my little talk. Okay, and I think that's it, you guys. I think that's it. Ooh, I do have one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get it the nerve to show you. I wouldn't, I, I don't, I don't really know if I'm gonna keep them, but I think I am just to get them out of my system. I got them on sale, but they were still crazy expensive. And it is the Margiela jeans that I was telling you about. So let me try them on real quick. One thing I was thinking of too today is I'm really at a place in my life too where I just don't wanna regret not doing exactly what I want to do. I don't want to regret not wearing something because of what someone else might say or think. I don't want to regret not doing things. And I just, I can't imagine like, you know, getting a, a year older and looking back and thinking, oh my gosh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? I would much rather regret doing something for a little while. You know what I mean? That's just another one of my deep thoughts here. But they are, like Taryn Britchick has them and all those girls have them. And I saw um, Kelly Wurstler, the fashion designer, not fashion designer, but furniture designer. She has these too. And that's what really sent me over the edge. Okay, what shoes do I want to put on with this? I'm gonna put these on. These are just those ones I got at the Nordstrom sale. I've really enjoyed these. They're called Gaia. Okay, and they're that high rise baggy and they've got the cutouts. You know, cutouts are real popular now anyway. And these came out last year. I think the first person I saw wearing them was Tamara Kalinic. And I thought, what the heck? And they've just grown on me. But what they really look good with is like a really oversized, this one isn't gonna get it. But uh, let me go put these up and get the oversized blazer. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out here. I went ahead and took off the top 
And this is something I bought last year, and I don't think I ever showed you guys. I bought it kind of at the end of the season, and I saw it, and I just loved it. And it's definitely an investment piece, but it's the, I think it's Balmain, and it's their print. And I love my Gucci Glazer so much, I knew I would love this. And it's um, kind of like the oversized. It's the boyfriend style or long line style. And so, yeah, this is what I would imagine wearing these with. And it's, it's a thing, you have, to, you have to be into like, I don't know, <laughs> crazy fashion. But I love it. Okay, I'm definitely keeping them. This is, this is a look. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm glad I put this together with you guys. My earrings today are the, this is probably, I always say to hate, hate to say my favorite collection, but if I had to, in a pinch, to say my favorite collection of Dean Davidson, it would have to be this Manhattan collection. It's just, I love it. And so I've got on the Manhattan chain, earrings and his initial necklace. I knew with all of this, like chains would look good. I had my nails done. This is Lincoln Park After Dark and then his latest ring that I told you guys about. And thank you. Thank you for being here. I was excited to show you everything. I kind of felt like a, a loser <laughs> after last Friday. I was like, I just spent that whole video showing them things that didn't look good but that's part of us being here together. And I think that's fun, you know, to try on things with people. So thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And I will probably see you this weekend and hopefully I'll get to show you the credenza and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.